Yes, Jamaica is stepping up once again, Mexico, to deliver online Spanish classes for J-Cans. Student, if it's the first time on my channel, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Mexico and Jamaica are preparing to execute a pilot project under which teachers from the Central America country will teach Jamaican students in Spanish. Education Minister Faval William made the disclosure following a meeting yesterday with the Mexican ambassador, Jan Gonzalez Mirage. William said the project has vast potential and would involve 30 Mexicans operating from their homeland, teaching some 300 students Spanish here in an online environment. You can see how scalable that is as more and more of our children get devices. She said during the and over ceremony for 50 tablets to the Johns Mill Primary and Infant School under the one laptop and tablets per child initiative, the device were donated to the Kingston Bay School by RMP and Associated Limited. It opened up possibilities in the education system for greater learning, for more exciting learning to inspire students, and they have these devices at home, at school, on school days and weekends, as long as you have connectivity, added Williams. And we have been doing our parts too in terms of connectivity. So whenever you go to the learning management system, you don't have to use up your own data. And that's what the ministry is doing to ensure that children gets on. Bring youth into digital world. According to Williams, Jamaican cannot hope to become a complete digital society without bringing its youth fully into the digital world, especially since they will need to progress different skill sets from those Jamaicans raised in the 20th century to be serious contenders in the global economic. The world has become more technological. We want our children to be more than just entertained by the technology, says William, a former technology minister. Entertainment is when you put up your picture on social media and WhatsApp and such. We want you to interact with technology. We want you to learn to program it so that over time you can become better and develop apps that, who knows, maybe will be used by the rest of the world. So we are on an irreversible part in terms of technologies in our lives, in our education, and to extend that we enable our students to use it wisely. We are going to benefit significantly in Jamaica in the years ahead, she told the tablet beneficiaries. Well, that's a very good news. When we we're going to school, they taught us a little bit about, you know, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, and, you know, something like that. They taught us um, Venus Diaz and, and few words, you know, and, and then it was stop at many. And in my days growing up, and, you know, I always thought you learn the Spanish at home, but when at school, but when you come home, who do you interact with? Because the parents have no knowledge of these language it was foreign to many parents i can say from my home many did not understand and therefore only the few students that were in your spanish class could learn how you could um vocabulize your spanish wit and then when you didn't see them then you didn't understand spanish but i pray that as we teach our children the value of international languages you know and the teachers become more equipped. We will also have not just what we used to have before, the Jamal, but we'll have an educational system also to enable parents to interact with their child at home in 
this language. Because Spanish is not that easy and yet still not hard. And therefore, we need to equip our generation. And one of the things I loved here was that we need to have our children in the digital world. And children are capable of getting into the digital world. But what is very significant here is that we want them to be able to develop an apps on their own. And one day too, as he said here, one day too, who knows, will be big in the industry and also be able to develop like other African nations. Our children have great minds. And if we program them in the right way, when I say program, I don't mean you teach them how to do the wrong things. You teach them rightly how to apply those good values and principles, our children can do better than what they do. When I came abroad, I realized that a lot of Jamaicans were not eloquent in even speaking the Jamaica, um, not even Patois good, because when I realized, I realized other Jamaicans were having a different kind of Patois than some. And then at the ending of the day, the English language was also a bother for a lot of Jamaicans. So this is where we have to help them in a Spanish and also be able to speak to them also to and help their parents also to understand and to be able to teach them. A lot of parents, how far from uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, as many parents know. And if you ask them, what does these, they, some can't even tell you. I know many of us will say, uno, 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 uno. But do we know more than just uno? You know, and these are some of the things. I'm so happy that we are pushing forward this. And I I must say, I thank the Mexico side of being able to help. They have 300 teachers ready to help and to install in our Jamaican students, you know, a younger generation in Jamaica, a valuable lesson and to equip some of the teachers also too. Because I remember when I was going to school, I had a, a Spanish teacher and he was real good. He was really good. St. Francis All Age School. I give a wonderful and a tremendous thanks for the early education that I received in that school. St. Francis All Age School on Old Oak Road, 16 Old Oak Road to precise. There were some beautiful teachers there, and they teach you the language. Yes, we agree that when we left school, many have decided to stop learning. But there was a great, tremendous thing happening there. And Spanish was one of the courses that I loved, and I thank full for it. So my viewers and subscribers, support this and help the children Get down into the digital world with your kid because they know it sometimes even more than you, you know, and see what we can do with this. It's a great, tremendous step out over into the 2021 and our children can know much more than we thought we knew. So my viewers and subscribers, it's we're still in the pandemic, but... We're praying for you and we're praying for better for ourselves. And a nation that sticks together will always grow good together. We will reap what we sow, whether it's good or bad. And we're thankful for our Spanish. Avea, Mexico.